Hello everyone, Charmantini here. So today I am showing you how you can monitor your uh, Linux-based system on Cacti. Um, this comes as a request uh, from one of my users uh, who wanted to know, I've shown you how to do it um, with network gear, but uh, I haven't made an actual video on how to install SNMP on uh, a Linux server and monitor it with Cacti. So this is kind of a two-part video. One, I'll show you how to install SNMP on a Debian-based system, and then we'll look at how to monitor it with Cacti. Now, those of you who've seen my other videos on Cacti know that I run Cacti uh, to monitor you know, network devices. We learn about uh, things like uh, latency and paying times and stuff like that. Um, so this is uh, a nice tool that shows us how to um, uh, how our network is running and uh, and monitors for historical data uh, on our systems so uh, in order to first install SNMP on your Debian system use sudo app get install SNMPD So once SNMP is installed, uh, it's located in etc SNMP, sorry, SNMP, and then there's a configuration file snmpd.com. Okay. Now in snmpd.com, uh, uh, for a basic setup, you will modify a couple of lines. The first one, by default, um, SNMP will only listen on uh, 127.0.0.1. So if you have a particular address that you want uh, to, you want SNMP to listen on, then you can change this from 127.0.0.1 to whatever IP address. Um, or you can comment this out and uncomment the second line. It's a bit less secure because by doing this, it's going to listen on all interfaces. Now, for the majority of you, if you're doing this in a home lab or something like that, you may only have one network adapter going to one network. Uh, but in the case of like the enterprise or the business, you're gonna have a server that may have access to multiple different networks and you don't want someone uh, that's on, let's say, the LAN and that's not on the management network to access or do an SNMP walk or get SNMP uh, data from the server. Uh, in the case of let's say they uh, got access to your SNMP string, uh, sorry, SNMP community string. Okay, so but just for demo purposes, I'll go with the second option. Now, there's some info here about SNMP, ver it depends on what SNMP version that you would want to run. So SNMP version one, which is the least secure, um, but it's still heavily used in some cases. Um, and that is just a uh, community string with no username or password. Um, typically, it's on located on older devices that don't support um, the more secure SNMP version 3 with a username, and password, and encryption. Okay. Uh, SNMP uh, version 1 puts everything in clear text. If you're doing it internally, and this is just like I said in a home lab or, or it's in a private network, um, you can, it, it is okay um, to use version 1 if that's the only option you have, but obviously using version three is um, is the most secure option. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, version one just for now. Okay, uh, because this demonstration is more about cacti than SNMP setup. Okay, so I'm going to change this uh, read-only community here from public, and I'll just change it to Mantini. And save it oh I forgot one thing before I do that um, for the for this option okay um, only one or the other can be accessed uh, can be turned on 
So that means that if you allow it to listen to all interfaces, make sure that you comment this out by putting a pound sign there. Okay. So next thing we'll do is restart the SNMP uh, process. Okay, so now that we've restarted the SNMP process, it's time to go over to Cacti. So once you're into uh, Cacti, um, go to the left-hand side um, and click on Devices. Once you click on Devices, on the top right-hand corner, click Add. And this is where you can add the, the details of your server. So say, um, you know, Media Server, let's say. And you can enter the IP details. Or if you have a DNS name, put DNS name. Okay. You can hit local Linux machine as a template. Now here is where you'll choose either version one, two, or three, if you're using SNMP. So I'm going to change the SNMP community from public. I'm going to change it to Mancini because that's the SNMP community string that I um, I configured. Then click create. Okay, so you're going to see here that the SNMP details have been pulled. Okay. And next, uh, top right hand corner, click create graphs for this host. There are a couple of graphs that have already been selected because you've uh, we've said that it's a Unix machine or a Linux machine. So um, you just click the checkbox to select them all if you wish. Okay. And then uh, for the data query for mounted partitions, you can select the one if it pops up. If it doesn't pop up, you may have to do some changes uh, in SNMP, um, but in general, this is the same process. Okay. And now let's say you want to see uh, ping latency. Uh, I have advanced ping. This is another plugin that I installed aftermarket, uh, or sorry, after the install. So next, uh, the one that will be available to you by default will be the Unix ping latency. But I'm gonna do advanced ping, okay? Cause I like that better than just the regular one and click create. And now you have some options for the colors. I, I like the defaults. So just click create again. And now we've created the graphs. So again, after you've done this top, uh, sorry, on, on the left hand side, click devices and you'll see media server so click uh, to highlight that and put that on the default tree or whatever tree you have if you've created a different one click graphs again and then the media server is there it'll take a couple minutes usually around five uh, to ten minutes to get any data that's graphable so until then you'll just see what this is uh, you'll see what you're seeing now um, this you this is normal it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with uh, your settings at this time if it's like this for for uh, you know 15 20 minutes then you have to start troubleshooting okay. so I hope this video was informative for you and I hope uh, it helped you if uh, it, uh, helped you solve a problem if you've had one um, you can visit my website at any time at seanmancini.com uh, you can email me at any time Sean at SeanMancini.com Thanks for watching. Have a good day.